Hi there! It is time for three practice SAT questions. Are you ready for problem solving and data analysis for the SAT? Let's dive in and see what's the first two-way table statistics and probability question I get. All right, I am going to page 176, question number one. Let's see. What have I got? I've got a graph. In the final round of a trivia competition, contestants were asked to name as many states that begin with the letter M as they could in 15 seconds. The bar graph shows the number of states the contestant were able to name. How many contestants participated in the final round of this competition? Okay, so the number of states they could correctly name and then the number of contestants who named that many. So if I basically add up the values on this axis of all of my columns, I will have the number of contestants. So for the first one, it's just one, and then another one, and then five, and then six, and then four, and nobody here, and then two, and then one. So if I add this up, this is two, plus five is seven, plus six is 13, plus four is 17, whoops, uh, plus two is 19, plus one is 20 contestants, which is answer choice D. Excellent. All right, what's next? Let's find out. Page 180, number nine. So flipping forward a little bit, let's get a look at this. Most animals give birth during a general time of year. This is because animals naturally breed so their young will be born at the time of year when there will be an adequate food supply. I'm not sure that that information is really relevant to me solving this problem. Uh, the bar graph shows the number of live births of a jackrabbit native to California over the course of year X. Based on the data, which of the following would be an appropriate conclusion? Okay, so maybe that sentence about food supply is going to be relevant because I'm drawing conclusions from things. So we've got a lot of jackrabbit babies born in March, April, and May, and then not so many, and then suddenly a whole bunch in August again, and then not so many in these other months. Um, so in general, rabbits give birth during the spring months. I mean, that's kind of true, but then we've got that spike in August, so I'm going to keep going and see if I find something that I like better. Um, in general, rabbits give birth during the summer months. That is definitely not the case because June and July are just nowhere. Um, in general, California jackrabbits give birth during the spring months. Okay, so that's definitely an improvement over A because we're getting more specific. We're not talking about all rabbits everywhere. And then D is the same thing except for with summer, which again, uh, not enough babies born during the summer. So I'm going to go with C, giving birth during the spring months. All right, last question. Let's see what we've got. Uh, page 86, 186. Uh, question number 25. Ooh, this is a long one. Big chart, big problem. Let's see. A company affected by a downturn in the economy decides to close one of its four branches. The table shows each branch's quarterly profits in millions of dollars for 2014, along with the mean and the standard deviation of the data. The accounting department recommends that the company's board of directors close either the store with the lowest average quarterly profits or the store that performs the least consistently. According to the data in the table, which branches will the accounting department recommend for closure to the board? So, okay, we don't actually have to worry about a lot of this chart. We don't care about the individual quarterly values. I only need to care about uh, the mean and the standard deviation. So mean is easy. We're looking for the lowest one, which is branch A by a long shot. Um, so that means that it has to be either A or B. And now we have to consider whether C or D is the least consistent. And standard deviation is a measure of consistency. Um, and the higher it is, 
the less consistent it is because like data is just flying all over the place. So that means that branch C is our least consistent branch. So it's going to be either A or C, which is answer choice A. All right, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. I will see you next time on three SAT practice questions.